Okay. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new vlog. So today is, what day is it? I don't even know. Is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. I was up, this is actually so loud. Do you ever have your, do you ever have your AirPods on so loud where you're just like, oh, <laughs> that's how I feel right now. I was up until, I'm not exaggerating, three in the morning to tell this mirror because I decided to do an entire rebrand of my um, like website. So my, my, so my website is now, um, you can still type in slimebyjacqueline.com and it'll redirect you to the new site. Um, however, it is now rebranded as shopnicolejacqueline.com and it has my podcast, it has my, my slime shop, my merchandise, um, you can shop my outfits. And it is a full on one stop shop, Nicole Jacqueline. Um, and I will eventually be putting like outfit links, um, shop my home, um, shop my video equipment. I have to develop those pages, but everything else is developed. I literally spent five, six hours on it last night and I had worked all day Tuesday. Like I literally worked so hard yesterday and I don't know what happened, but I was just like so, like this quarantine has really motivated me to like buckle down and work hard. So I don't know what it is, but I've just been feeling so inspired. I rebranded my entire podcast into, so now versus it just saying like slime with Nicole Jacqueline, it just says Nicole Jacqueline podcast. Um, I'm getting the brand, like the graphic, reworked right now and it's going to be so perfect and this way I have the opportunity to talk more about and truly I think I put these limits on myself sometimes and then I kind of like stuck in them even though like I'm the one that's in control of these choices so I decided that I could just take control of what I wanted to do so I because I want the podcast to be 100% like a um because I have my Nicole Jacqueline like Instagram, I have this vlog channel. I want it to be an extension of who I am um, and not just like the videos I create on my like slime DIY um, like craft kind of channel. And I want to talk about more important things like mental health, um, self care. Um, but I also want to talk about, you know, my life, lifestyle, dating, but just like an extension of who I am. That's honestly what the podcast is. And sometimes the episodes might be about, you know, how to grow your, like your YouTube channel, how to grow a podcast, how to start a business. Like, but it can also be very much so anything. Okay. So. I actually have my hit live stream on pause because I almost forgot to do it. So yeah, but I'm just wearing this like set thing. This is from Stronger. It is the cutest situation ever. Um, actually, I actually have some pants that go with it too, but I just love working out in little shorts and stuff because I just do. <laughs> um, I just, sometimes I just like that better. Um, but yes, put my AirPods in. I'm gonna do a little hit workout. It's my second one ever. So the so the actual studio that I work out at, Barcode, is doing um like live streams this entire quarantine, and I'm doing one of Stacy's classes. So Stacy is the owner of Barcode, and I'm so excited. Um, I have her on pause. I'm gonna go unpause her and get this hit workout in, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I need a freaking hair color, but like it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna do a terrible angle because my tripod will not stay up. Um, so yes, I am so tired today. Um, I am happy because I got so much done last night. My body is so sore. These leggings I'm wearing are actually from Fabletics um, and I got them forever ago. And they're kind of weird because they're like a different texture. Like they are literally like, the weirdest texture I've ever experienced, but they're really fun actually. And the little like, what do you call this, like mesh? Yeah, the texture is so interesting, but I kind of like love how it feels. Um, these are good leggings for, I would say like a lower intensity workout. Um, I wouldn't want to be doing like a massive cardio in these because they aren't like 
Like, I wanna be in like skin tight clothing when I'm gonna do cardio and like jumping around and stuff, jumping around. But these are really good for like a lower intensity, like a bar code, like an actual bar workout where you're just doing more like fine toning and like little stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make some breakfast now. I don't even know what I have in my fridge. If you guys, I don't think I post the video on it, but I might have, I don't even know. But I made this like, at home, like cashew dressing. I put it in these mason jars with no lids on them, but it works um, really great. And I'll definitely talk about that more in the vlog today, because I probably will have a salad at like lunchtime. Even though it's literally 11, 12, I'll probably have it at like three or something. I don't even know. Um, all I know is when I'm tired, I'm hungry, but this is the coffee that I was drinking before I realized that I signed up for a bark, a hit class at 9 a.m. So I actually, what I did was I made some cold brew. I just literally um, brewed two cups of coffee in my Keurig last night. And then I put it in this like container, or this like cup. And I swear the coffee tastes 10 times better. Um, oh yeah, my breakfast. I'm gonna have just like some toast, like really simple. Actually, you know what I have though? I have some bananas that are looking like they're kind of ripe. Also, I'm just like really sad because my avocados were all like just terrible. Cause usually I get the ones from Costco, but I ran out of those and I got the ones from Meyer and they're so bad. Like I just don't, don't get this. When are avocados in season? Do you guys know? Because I just like don't know that. I would assume they're in season soon because it's like that kind of time of year where most things like that are. But I'm gonna get a banana for my peanut butter toast. Yeah, can you get that going? All right, at breakfast, we have the toast with peanut butter banana and an apple. And my puppies are sleeping because we were up very late last night and they were up because I was up. Made more coffee because I'm so tired. Beautiful, beautiful iced coffee. Stunning. This gigantic straw. Hilarious. Actually making some more cold brew because I need it in my fridge. <laughs> Babies, oh, we're down by the bay with the babies. Guys, I never get PR, and it's funny because I'm vlogging today. Um, and I don't actually get PR, like, I just don't do these that much, actually. So, I'm actually hyped that I'm vlogging today because it's fun to show off. We got a little tanologist package as you are glow goals. I've really only used, um, I mean, I've used quite a few, but I like really only use Bondi Sands now. Um, but I'm always down to try some new ones out. Ooh, now available at Ulta. So cute. Oh, are these the ones that are the water sprays? Wait, oh, they're moose, but they're, yeah, there's like a water. Yeah, those are cool. Okay, open this up here. Oh my gosh, what is it? That's a lollipop. That's so cute. Yeah, it's oh, it's a champagne. I'm so confused. Yeah, it's a candy, I think. Botanic Bakery. So oh, there's two of them. Yes, of oh, the Ulta collaboration with Tanologists. That's so fun. You guys, I'm actually so excited to get PR. Like, I genuinely just like. I don't know. I appreciate it. So I think it's like the coolest thing ever when a company like sends you something. So I'm always just like, yes, I I will show off your brand because this is so cool. And maybe I'll try it out like in one of the up upcoming vlogs. Ooh, okay, so this is a self-tan overnight treatment. It's a gradual oil. That's really cool. 
I want to smell it actually. This is so exciting. Like, ooh, PR. <laughs> Ew, I can't. Like, I actually am so hyped. It smells like a very nice. Hold on. Like, you can't focus on anything apparently. Definitely has a self tanner. Kind of smells like the. What are they called? There's an actual word for the self tanner things that you get inside of. Uh, it smells like that though. Kind of love that actually. It's a little gradual oil. And then we have this. Look at these containers. So they're really like beautiful, like they're almost like the unicorn hollow. I'm super excited to try this. Self tan mousse, like extra dark. Really fun. Oh, this is a one hour express tan. That's super cool. Um, I will most, oh, it's clean, vegan, and organic. That's so awesome. Okay, we also got some hanging nails for hanging up my YouTube plaques and my diploma. This is a frame for my diploma, actually. And then we have some tie-dye in the color Scarlet. Pretty much gonna do some fun tie-dye this weekend. Also, look at my doll. Can I pet that doll? Can I pet that doll? Can I pet that doll? Or no, can I pet your doll? We're going to be hanging up my bachelor's degree and my one million plaque, my 100,000 Nicole Jacqueline plaque, and my Nicole Jacqueline vlog 100,000 plaque. <laughs> it's gonna be such an emotional moment. Like seeing it all on the wall, like everything that I've worked so hard for for the last four, five, six, seven years, like on the same wall, like. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. You guys, look at this. I was doing a time lapse of my camera SD card was full. I'm actually speechless at how this makes me feel. Just seeing everything up on the wall makes me so proud. And my just seeing this still makes my mind absolutely mind blown. We actually reached one million and a thousand or um, one million ten thousand. Is that how you phrase it? One million ten thousand. <laughs> it sounds weird. We are making some dinner. I am so hungry, making some rotini, rotini pasta. Um, but I'm probably gonna mix it with some elbow pasta because I like to make a, like a bunch of it at once so I can just like eat it for lunch and dinner and stuff or like tomorrow or the next day. So I'm probably gonna have to pull out some, maybe a weird combination, but you're like, I never buy this kind, but when I was shopping for like a bunch of food, like a, almost a month ago now, I got these because there was like nothing else. And I was like, honestly, I'll eat it, but I would never have chosen this. <laughs> so They're just so cool because they're so large. I actually would love to make some kind of like dairy-free, like vegan mac and cheese with these because they have really good. You could get some nice cheese in there once they're cooked. Like, wow phenomenal but I want to do some kind of like Alfredo and pasta situation yeah I'm glad I have this in here um it's gonna be so good I'm like considering getting like a vegetable of some sort don't really know what I'm feeling um or I'll just like a I might just do like a side salad um but keep get excited because I'm thinking also dishes like accumulate so fast i just ran this like two days ago but because i'm literally cooking every meal and i never i mean i don't know i'm just not used to that i guess you could say i usually eat out quite a bit more but eating every single meal from home is a little different also this is different because i was actually um filling up my ice machine which is a whole different situation a whole different story um but yeah then i got dirty so I have to do that still. But what I was gonna say, so I'm thinking tonight is the night that I do this like vegan Twix bar thing that I was talking about. 
Um, I might not have posted the video because I didn't like how it looked. It was just very like terrible quality and I was like, I could do better. This is all part of the DIY. It's like a, a vegan Twix bar. Um, there's also like peanut butter in it and stuff and I'll be super good. These are for something else, not for this video. Um, feels so good to have that stuff off my counter. I had my degree and my three plaques just like sitting here forever and I had stuff piling up on top of it. So it's so clean now and like, I love it. So loving that, but I will most likely make that after the pasta because, or just do it during because honestly it's gonna be so good and I'm not gonna have anything in my house that has like a sweet in it. And comment down below if you have to have like a sweet after you have like pasta, because that's how I am. I don't know, I just always, my family's that way, so yeah, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let me get some more noodles in there. So good. You know, I can use a spatula, but I don't want to. Yeah, getting all those. I love it. I've been trying to do like more, not exactly meal prepping, but just making more food in bulk. I'm not like dividing it up, but just, cause I just really don't like, sometimes I don't want to cook, you know? Also, um, obviously I can't see the sky, like my apartment and stuff, but it is like storm cloud vibes outside again. And yesterday it was like that too. And I am honestly very excited about that. Um, I'm gonna grab my phone actually and look up this recipe for these like vegan Twix bars because I'm thinking if I just like start the process now, then they'll be ready when I want them. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Look at that pasta. I know it's so odd that I have them mixed, but I don't really care. I just don't care about it. Yes, Alfredo for days, baby. To add the Alfredo sauce in, I'm using this sauce from Prego. Um, home style Alfredo sauce. It's like you're good in the I am incredible. Look at the texture. Look at it all. I did that, honestly. It's not even not hard. It was just like a very simple meal, but like, call me a chef. Call me it. Comment down below. <laughs> Guys, look at all these little meals now. We have literally four entire little meals here, which is, it's just like so satisfying. I love doing that. I love making like a ton at once. Um, I'm only one person eating, so I can just like bulk make it all, and it's like the best thing ever. Just have these from Target, these like up and up brand containers. They're just normal containers, but I'm a huge fan of doing this. This is very helpful. Whenever I'm running around all day, filming a video, doing whatever, I, I want to eat like a good lunch or a good dinner, but I might be tired, and whenever I'm tired, you know what I do? I eat like the most terrible thing in my house and I feel awful afterwards. It's more of like a mental thing. Like I just don't feel good afterwards. So look at this. All right, guys, it is a little bit, a little bit later now. Um, the cookie dough was like, honestly, so gross. <laughs> like, um, I think it's the coconut flour that I didn't like, um, but we tried it. It was a fun adventure and I honestly never find, oh, that was loud. I never really find time to cook really. Um, so I really enjoyed that actually. I'm so tired. I'm getting a new, you can't tell, but I'm getting a new video up right now. Um, actually, I haven't had an editor since December. Um, I only had one for like two months, but I still edited like a lot of my stuff. Um, and I still make like a final cut. Like I'll go through the whole entire video and I'll still cut stuff out, adjust stuff, adjust levels and whatever. And I really debated getting one again because 
I'm like, is it worth it? And you know, honestly it is because I am able to make more videos because of it. And end of the day, I would rather make so much more content for you guys um, and give up that control and just have someone help me edit that gets my style. Um, and I love my editor, she's so, so cool. Um, so yeah, I am, I just exported it from my editor, um, like my editing software. I just adjusted some, a few things, like not much, but just a little bit. And I'm gonna get it up and yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on uh, what's going on. I'm so tired. I'm probably going to um, walk my dogs after because it's been like a few hours and honestly, I just need to like go on a walk. I just feel like I need to like go outside. It's like a nice temperature. It kind of like rained a little bit. I'm kind of living for it. Um, but I really enjoyed vlogging today and I'm very excited to start doing more just like, like if you think of like, I love watching lifestyle people on YouTube. I don't know what it is about it, but watching someone just do the daily routine, get stuff done, be motivated, motivates the heck out of me. Um, when I was up until like 3 a.m. last night, I think I had my friend Gretchen Garrity. Um, I had, I, mean, I met her like a few times. I consider us friends, but I'm always like, my friend that I met once on the internet at a convention, uh, anyway. Um, I was watching her po her podcast, which is a podcast too, but I was watching her vlogs until like 3 a.m. And honestly, it's so inspirational and I'm just excited to be, oh, exported, thank goodness. I'm so excited to start posting like consistently on this channel. Um, just like more curated content. If you, want, if you want slime stuff, go to my main channel. But I really, and I love the slime stuff, you guys know, but I just really am excited to be posting stuff like this. And I just, I just love it. And I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. And if you don't, well, I enjoy it a lot. It makes me really happy and I just think it's gonna be a really fun time. Oh, it's not hurting. Blushing, it's her space, blushing baby.